so our little guy is about six weeks old and we thought we'd share our birth story. It was pretty wild for me. It was um, unexpected. And you never exactly know how a birth is gonna go, but this one was kind of crazy. So I've been having contractions for, I don't know, three weeks. We thought he was gonna come early and he didn't. So the morning he was born, I went to see my midwife, who was great. And she did a little magic trick on me to try to get me to go into labor. I actually didn't think it would work, so I went grocery shopping, ran a couple errands, and on my way home, I started having contractions about 15 minutes apart. Dom was at work, so I sent him a text, and I just let him know that I might be going into labor. I was, still wasn't really sure. So I came home, unloaded my groceries, and I called our midwife Candy and let her know what's going on and she told me to try the breast pump. So I thought, okay, I get in the bathtub, I try the breast pump and my contractions went immediately from 15 minutes apart to six minutes apart. There was no warning sign and they were super intense. So I sent Dom a text at that time and said, I don't feel comfortable being home by myself. And as soon as I sent that text, I mean, within a minute, um, my contractions went from six minutes to two minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, so I was getting ready for a show, and I had some of the kids with me because we, we let them help out backstage. And I just called the guys and said, you know, this is it. So I, I rushed over to our house, which is where we're at right now. And you jumped in the car with me. We had the kids in another car in case, you know, they had to go get food or we, you know, we had kind of a, a plan B there. Um, we didn't know if it was going to be like an emergency emergency and we didn't, you know, want to kind of shock them. So we took our own car. They were in another car and we had our friend David Newton, who's a videographer. Um, I had him on speed dial like I, I knew it was going to go quick. So he jumped in his car and luckily he was available and he lived close. And so all three of us headed down to Harrison. Yeah, it was about a 20 minute drive and my contractions were coming so hard and fast at that point, I was afraid we weren't gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, that car ride was pretty wild. I mean, she was really doubled over in pain. And I mean, I was doing as fast as I was comfortable with, you know, even if you explain, you know, to an officer or something, what you're doing, that takes time. So we pushed it as much as we could without, you know, feeling dangerous, but um, we got there pretty quick. Yeah, and when we got to her house, I um, was already so far along, I could barely walk in her front door, and she said, oh, you, it's really time. Yeah. <laughs> so at that point, I still expected, I don't know, a few hours, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was already in transition at that point, so, um, I laid down and I had to be put on an IV with antibiotics in it prior to delivering so we barely finished the IV bag. Um, I did a water birth so I got into the tub as soon as the IV bag was empty and it was time to push. It was quick. I mean her contractions were a couple minutes and then there were like a minute and then 30 seconds but almost back to back and it, it just it all kind of came at once you know and um, yeah as soon as she was in the tub it was time to push we had the older girls in there and it was you know I've heard a lot of birth stories and a lot of stories in hospitals there's a lot of doctor activity and nurses and people and and so I don't think the father is as intimately involved and you know sometimes for a particular birth that's that's necessary you know if this was our first or second um, I don't think we would have done a, a midwife but she had you know, this is our fifth, and so she's had experience, and she's not going to freak out, and her health is amazing. Um, so there weren't any complications, and that's that's the prime um, candidate, f you know, to, to do a home birth. Um, I think a lot of people shy away from it, away from it, just because they don't, you know, know if something, if there are complications, what's going to happen. But we looked into, um, we looked into it. We saw doctors. We did all the exams and everything, and she was just perfect. 
-hmm. and um, the ladies are nurses as well so we, we felt very confident with Candy and um, both of them. Carrie. Carrie, yeah. yeah. Carrie, Carrie did an amazing job. So once she got in the pool or in the um, in the bathtub, it was it was intense. Yeah, it immediately was time to push, and I, I looked at Carrie, who helped me in the tub, and I said, "Are you kidding me? It's time to push already." I never felt like I mentally caught up to the action. I felt like I had shown up to my game late, and I'm trying to play catch up, and I can't wrap my mind around what's going on. You know, usually when you go into labor, there's even if it's a short labor, which I tend to have short labors anyway, it but was really three short. hours, you know, you, you yeah. at least get to um, mentally prepare for what's going on with your body. And I just wasn't prepared. And I was a little honestly freaked out with this baby. I would say a little bit more than the others just because everything was happening so quickly. And I felt like I was behind the curve. Right, but I think that's where you know, doing the home birth came into play and helped her because I was kneeling by the tub holding her hand, you know, and able to, to love on her and assure her. And both of our ladies were right next to us, Candy and Carrie. Um, and so there was just a lot of love and support and it was very calm. We had, we had music playing in the background. We had a whole Spotify list that we had, had ready for him. Um, and so the whole atmosphere was just very, um, very surreal. It was very quiet. It was, it was very, um, it was intense but peaceful. It was very peaceful. And, and having, I think, being there and having that support and love, and I was just talking her through it. I think, I mean, I, I think that helped. Well, for me, it. I hope it did. It did help. Yeah. It was amazing. Um, even though I was freaked out, like you said because the atmosphere was so peaceful and Candy and Carrie were incredibly competent. Very, um, very good. There were just things, I, I, they didn't overly check me, you know, um, which is something that typically happens in a hospital and that's fine if that's what people are comfortable with, but I personally don't like to be touched that much when I'm in labor. So they touched me only as was necessary, held my hand if I wanted my hand held, but other than that, it was just... It was a 10 minute. I want to say me running the show, but it was actually Xavier running I mean, it was the show. I mean, it was maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes of hard pushing, really hard, like like blood vessels popping and like yeah. excruciating. And um, I, was, I, was very, I was very proud of you. Oh, thank you. Well, it's just, I mean, it was very elegant still, you know, and, and beautiful and, and magical, the whole... The whole experience was just incredible, you know, because we were so intimate right there. Like, like, so she's in um, maybe a foot and a half or two feet of water, and the baby starts crowning, and I've got my hands under the water with with the, the midwife, and we both get to bring our son into, you know, into life, and and at that very moment, like I'm there, I'm capturing, I'm watching it, and I'm touching him and holding him, and and bringing him out and, and, and then cutting the umbilical cord and he went right from our hands and, and out of the water and onto her chest. Yeah. There was no break, there was no whisking him away, there was no um, you know, noise and people and things. It was just, it was so sublime and so beautiful. And he was very peaceful. He didn't even cry. He yeah, just he didn't cry. It was, coughed it was a little bit, and then he just kind of laid there on my chest with his eyes wide open and looked yeah. around at everybody like, yeah, hello world. Yeah, <laughs> he was ready for it. It was really yeah. beautiful. And then shortly after that, you know, she had to finish with with the placenta and everything, and so I was able to hold um, him and just bring him right onto my chest, and he just laid in my arms and snuggled, and he didn't cry, and I just. I feel like that scenario couldn't have been better. I feel like we, we, we captured everything, you know, that was possible in that scenario. We savored all of it because, um, you know, we, we did decide to think outside the box a little bit and use a midwife. And I'm very grateful that we did that. I am too. It was beautiful. Candy just was amazing. Her competence and Carrie's competence. Um, yeah. J even the pushing with Carrie helping me, even though it was hard, and I would say harder than the other children, like I said, just because the labor was so short, but um, 
she, she was just right. She knew exactly what to do to make it as comfortable for me as possible. And so the whole experience was absolutely amazing. Yeah. I thought it was really funny going into it. And midwives, I don't think are that uncommon anymore. I think that people are getting used to the idea and there's more home births than what I ever remember. But even so, people questioned us the entire pregnancy. Oh, are yeah. you sure you want to do that? Have well, you some people that call us, through? Some people call us irresponsible. You know, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? And that's why you do those tests before, so you know the position of the baby, you know, um, you know what 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 your um, uh, probability is of, of having any complications, and, and that's why you have the midwives there because they they've probably delivered hundreds and hundreds of you know I don't probably not a thousand but it's it's up there. These ladies have been around for decades and they've seen it all, um, and the hospital's ten minutes away, and right. so. And um, Candy had been delivering babies for, I think, 30 years. She was 30 an years. OB nurse prior to becoming right. a midwife. And um, she just knew her stuff. She was on top of it. I felt incredibly comfortable with well, her. Well, and our, our, our two oldest daughters were in there, too. So they got to firsthand watch their mother giving birth. I mean, what what is the, the value of that for their lives moving forward? You know, especially as teenagers, you know, to, to put the right... Um, you know, um, image not just not just imagery. You know, obviously it's. <laughs> I was joking with the girls. I said, you know, and they're like, "Wow, I'm never doing that." Well, that's a great, great form of birth control right there. And that, you know, it's all fun, funny and stuff. You know, being teenagers and they're beautiful girls. You know, so the boys are all after them. But it really does put it directly into a a proper perspective for them moving forward. You know, it's it, there's no fantasy. There's no. You know, oh, I'd like to have a baby, and you know, oh, if you know, it, you know, we, we get pregnant, so what? No, no, it really, really um, puts puts it in the right frame of mind. I think for them, there's nothing like watching it in person to to, to experience that value and to experience um, just how intense and beautiful and amazing it is, and and then for them in their mind to to say, you know what, I want to share this with just the right. I think it I think it really um, gives them a proper proper perspective. I agree and that's what I was going to say is they were able to partake in our intimacy. Um, a type of in intimacy that only happens when a child is born and you know unless you are a midwife or a doctor or a nurse most people don't get to witness they never do. that firsthand right. and so it was really beautiful and they both were very emotional and um, tearing up and Afterwards, they both expressed how thankful they were to have been a part of that. Yeah. So, so it was great overall. We just were very, very thankful. And very feel very blessed. And he's a healthy, happy boy. Yeah, he's beautiful. <laughs> so you guys stay tuned. Um, we're going to actually post the video that David Newton Productions was able to edit for us and did a beautiful job. And you'll get to see firsthand what we what we experienced. Hope you enjoy.